Okay, let's take a look at some of the awesome musicians I've met in my musical journey through life. Some even became friends. And that was before YouTube networking and streaming. If you were worth your salt, you had to earn it in person or by word of mouth. At the music store, I, I, um, I met a lot of people at the music store. But even before the music store, a friend of mine turned me on to these photo passes. Official photo passes. Santana. Kiss. Never really cared for Kiss. But thanks for posing, posers. I do care for Yes. That was a cool show. Got to meet all the guys, John Anderson, Squire. All oh, these are stickers. A girl from Sony Music sent me these. Sent me rolls of them and I stuck them everywhere. Original stickers on the CDs from the Shine On box set, Pink Floyd. These are still unpeeled. Pink Floyd, Alamo Dome. Too bad I didn't get backstage to that one. Grand Funk, after show. They played two times. San Antonio, one year, two times. Must have liked it. Steve Vai, Satriani, after show. They did a clinic at the store too. Tommy Lee came by one day. Oh, Eric Johnson. Sent me some letters. He even mentions my music. That's cool. Just a tall, another cool guy. You know how people, when they meet famous people, oh, he yeah, was a cool guy. He was a nice guy. No, they're nice because they have to be. Some of them. And some of them are authentically nice. Eric Johnson, Ian Anderson. You just feel the authenticity of their vibe. Talkative, friendly. Aldi Mula, huh. that's another story. He's one of those progressive. Cabum de Mula. My icons, don't get me wrong, but Stanley Clark. Backstage, Rockefellers, Houston, long time ago, 20, 30 years ago. First time I met Calum, 94, Houston. I knew the phone was going to ring when it, God, it never fails. I'm almost through, I'm not going to answer the phone. Okay. Um, Met him two other times, once in L.A. at the Baked Potato, and the last time at the store where he did a clinic. <clears throat> Had dinner with him after that show. Dinner with my drum icon, my all-time drum icon. This was the first band, not the first band, but one of my first early bands. I was playing with guys twice my age. Guess what we're, guess what the music we're playing the most? That name was Abbey Road. We played at the Sunrise Mall, Corpus Christi, Texas. There's a lot of people at that show. The whole mall is full. Oh, these are two. <laughs> I took a picture of my brother's dog. This is a drawing I did when I was a child. I called it the Mighty Vikings. That was a long time ago they put it. I won't tell you how long. This, 20 or 30 years up to later, still ringing. She's so persistent. God. Um, and they called it the Mighty Viking. Copying me or what, man? <laughs> 